Folks, we are back and we have returned and Thorin Black has been just devastating. During the break, he is just beating on G Money. I don't even know if I can call him that since I'm not his homie. Probably attacked me after the show, but whatever. Holy hell, big boot by DeAndre Glover. I'll start calling him his real name. That was scary. Oh, right into a spine buster. That looked like a Triple H spine buster. You just notice that little walk off afterwards. No, I'm acting like an ass. Hey, I'm having fun. Chop to the chest there. And a drop kick to the face by Thorin. Thorin, from what I've seen from this man, he is the perfect beast. Technical, looks like a monster, can wrestle. He's what he's a mixture of Brian Danielson with Batista, except I, I can't compare him to Brian Danielson because Danielson is awesome, or da Brian or Daniel Bryan I should say. Why do I keep ranting? Thorn Black just turning over G Money. G Money with a kick to the sternum that doesn't connect. And that one does. Irish whip into the turnbuckles. Setting him up on the top top rope. What is he going to do here? No. We saw this earlier. We saw this earlier. Dear God. He may have broke Young's back or Young's neck earlier. Did he? Thorn, if he didn't have such a thick neck, he might have broken it there. No offense, Thorn. He's like kick my ass. Chops. Some backhanded chops, knife edge chops. Paying homage to Ric Flair, this crowd, even with the woo! Paying homage to Ric Flair. Arm wrench right here. He's going into, is he going to try a suplex? Ooh! I think his feet hit the ropes. That, that would even, that could cause some ankle damage. Those aren't, those aren't regular ropes, folks. Those are cables wrapped in, uh, essentially plastic rubber and rubber. It, it it hurts. You can even break a neck with just an Irish whip if you don't grab the rope as you're going into it. That's why you need to take lessons before you try this at home, you dumbasses. Why do I sound like a heel? Elbow to the face of G Money and a drop kick straight to the mush. Thorne just staring down G Money. G Money goes for a kick, but Thorne evades it. But, oh, G Money with an amazing DDT, but Thorin, it seems to have just fired him up, and oh, another big boot. That, that, not even anyone, no one can just stand up from that big boot. Irish whip into the corner. Oh, big body blow. What's going to happen here? And another punch to the face. Lifts up Thorin. Nice little arm wrench and he's going for another suplex. Oh, I saw it that time. His feet definitely hit the ropes. I think Thorne is trying to use it, dragging him to the middle of the ring. And if he can get a pin, he may get the three. One, two, three. And yes, who is the third man? Who is? Oh, no, it's X. Thorne's already had a hell of a match. What the? No, he's got to face X. Thorne barely beat X last week. What the hell is he thinking? A backslide. Thorne able to get out of it. And oh, another <coughs> boot to the face. This is hard to watch. What is X going to go for here? Arm wrench right here. What is it going to do? Oh, arm wrench. That's an arm bar. He turned it into an arm bar, but Thorne able to reverse it. Holy, maybe he's not down and out just yet. Elbow drop to the head of... X and a nice little kick to the chest. What is he going to do here? Oh, DDT straight onto the neck and head. That could compress a spinal cord. Maybe X is looking to injure Thorin. Irish whip into the corner. And oh, this is X's Samoan drop. That is one of his signatures. That had to have driven all the air out of Thorin. What is he going to do here? Is he going for the corporate destroyer? Look at him. I just want to punch him in the face. He's what everything is wrong with big business today. I don't know why. Just pin him already. Come on. Just pin him. Come on. 
why is it necessary to kick him in the head? You're that much of a, of a coward and a sore loser. One, of course, two, yes, it's three. a three. He could have made a three when he hit the slow and drop. It was, it was yeah, it was real necessary to hit the corporate destroyer and then punch a man and kick a man when he's down. He's nothing but a pathetic puke. I can't stand how Executor has turned corrupted. He was a, he was a halfway decent. He wasn't a great man. He was still an asshole, but he was a halfway decent man in SWF. Why does he have to recruit good, especially a good man like Tony Campos? I hope to God Tony Campos is not in cahoots with X. G Money, I can understand. I didn't even know him. I know that him and X have a history together before BCW. Look at them celebrate. There's nothing to celebrate. You broke a broken man. Folks, this is our sixth man. Oh, I just can't stand X. This is our sixth man elimination match for the final spot in the elimination chamber at our pay-per-view battle lines. So far, I'm still ag so aggravated. This man was defeated by J-Dub in episode one. So far, like I said, J-Dub, Chris O, Shogun, King AJO, and Wayne Static have qualified. Wayne Static eliminated Tony Campos. And this... Hello, this is just Here's Kent. I am your Aussie hero, Kent. And after last week's show, all I kept hearing was... Who is Kent? Why was he in the ring with Jay? What is he here for? Obviously, he can't cut it as a superstar. <laughs> but first off, let me reiterate. In case you weren't listening before, I am your Aussie hero, and I... I am Kent. No longer bro star. Fuck the cheap gimmicks. I'm the future of this company, whether you guys want to believe it or not. I have been a wrestler for long. With all my life in my heart, I have been a wrestler. And I came to VCW for one reason only. And that is to, to win every single championship from the tag team championships to the international championships. Hell, I may even win the women's championship. But it all it all begins tonight when I qualify for the elimination chamber and toss five men over that rope and move on to win my first world championship. Kent laying down the law. He's saying he's gonna win this, win the world title, win the international championship, and win the women's championship, and win the women's championship. We've seen crazier things. Remember Santina? He could, he could be a Cantina. With this man making his way to the ring, Jason Storm, the mom doer, doing your mom, whatever you like to call him, I like it. He's gonna bang your mom, and you're gonna watch, and that makes him better than you. Yes, you listen to this song. Listen to this song. This is a badass song. This is Fatty Spins with Doing Your Mom. Check them out. They're on YouTube. Fatty Spins, Doing Your Mom. You can research that. Folks, please join us back for part eight. You will see the uh, six-man elimination match, which we will see the last member man of the to qualify for the elimination chamber. I'm Scott Harris. Tune in for part eight.